What kind of experience is it like to build a new city in the desert? Relying on their own hands, the Chinese built a new city in the world's second largest mobile desert in 65 years. The desert has always been a forbidden area for human life. Xinjiang, the largest province in China, has two largest deserts in China, the Taklamakan Desert and the Gurbantunga Desert, on its vast land of 1.66 million square kilometers. The Taklamakan Desert, located in the Darin Basin of Xinjiang, means a place where you can't get in or out in Uyghur. Locals usually call it the Sea of Death. The entire desert is about 1,000 kilometers long from east to west, and more than 400 kilometers wide from north to south, with a total area of more than 330,000 square kilometers. It is the largest desert in China and the second largest mobile desert in the world. On the edge of the Taklamakan Desert, there is a city that means Green Island in Uyghur. Today it is also known as the Gate of the Desert. Although the desert has been devouring the civilization here, human beings have been fighting tenaciously with the desert since the dawn of civilization. From the Han Dynasty to the Tang Dynasty to the Qing Dynasty, until the contemporary Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps, Oasis Agricultural Ecology and Oasis Urban Ecology have taken root in all directions of Xinjiang. Okay, today's video will take you to understand, how did the desert in Xinjiang become an oasis? Let's get started. More than 100 million years ago, China's Xinjiang today was still part of the ocean. 80 million years ago, the Earth's plate movement became more intense. The Indian Ocean plate continued to drift northward and collided with the Eurasian plate to the north, resulting in strong tectonic movements, and the Qinghai Tibet Plateau and many mountain ranges gradually rose. Today's Darim Basin and Yungar Basin are also gradually uplifted and completed as inland areas surrounded by high mountains. The mountains of the plateau block the northward movement of the Indian Ocean monsoon, making the two basins drier. Long before the impact of human activities, the lower reaches of the inland rivers in the two basins evaporated heavily, and Lop Nur is a typical example. The huge amount of evaporation has also reduced the coastal areas of the middle and lower reaches of the river to hardened saline alkali land. With the help of the strong wind, the desert grows here recklessly. Since the emergence of human activities, the population on the edge of the Darim Basin has continuously intercepted water sources for their own use. As a result, the water volume of several tributaries of the Darim River began to decrease, and the salinization and desertification of the land at the edge of the basin gradually intensified. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, with the establishment of the Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps, the reclamation cause in Xinjiang ushered in a new situation. Along with the progress of land reclamation, the Corps gradually built a complete irrigation and drainage system on the edge of the northern and southern Xinjiang basins, through which the wasteland was turned into a high-yield and stable oasis farmland. This once invincible army on the battlefield, with a gun in one hand and a plow in the other, used sweat and sand to reclaim a new city in the harsh desert. In addition, the Corps also pays great attention to the use of straw returning to the field, cultivating green manure, increasing the application of organic fertilizer and other measures, so that the total amount of soluble salt in the soil is gradually reduced. Their optimized soil composition also reduces the adverse effects of high evaporation in arid areas on agricultural production. In the face of unstoppable desertification, the Xinjiang Corps also attaches great importance to the construction of farmland shelter forests and the implementation of the project of returning grazing land to grasslands, making the Corps' oasis reclamation agriculture enter a scientific and sustainable development model. While the agricultural foundation of the Corps continued to be consolidated, the commercial trade of the Corps also gradually flourished, and many towns gradually formed. At present, the Xinjiang Corps has established 10 small cities. Alar is the best example. Alar, which means Green Island in Uyghur, is the second city built by the Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps. According to statistics, compared with the beginning of the establishment of the city, the annual precipitation in Alar City has increased by 60%, the wind intensity in spring and autumn has decreased significantly, the frequency of wind has decreased significantly, 
and the ecological environment has continued to improve. The afforestation project has been implemented for many years, and the city's urban oasis has gradually extended to the interior of the desert. From the perspective of the Darim River Basin, Alar is located at an important location where the runoff of the Darim River forms, that is, the confluence of the three major runoffs of the Aksu River, the Kashgar River Yurkiang River, and the Hotan River. Protecting and conserving here is conducive to maintaining the ecology of the Darim River Basin. However, the reservoirs built by the Corps in the Darim River Basin have also gradually shrunk the natural river course, which has had a certain negative impact on the ecology of the river. It can be seen that Aller is a very important position. As early as 1958, with the support of Wang Jin, then Minister of Land Reclamation, the Xinjiang Corps dispatched more than 20,000 people to Aller to start the construction of land reclamation here. Wang Jin's plan for Aller is very large, and there are plans for the construction of universities and thermal power plants in the early stage. The agricultural reclamation troops rooted here were later organized into the first agricultural division of the Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps, but the development here is also facing difficulties. Except for Shihizi City, which is a city under the jurisdiction of the Corps approved by the Autonomous Region in 1961, the remaining industrial taxes and fees of the other divisions must be handed over to the local government except for agricultural income. As a result, the impetus for urban development is insufficient, and infrastructure construction lags behind. Only Shahizi City has complete administrative functions and can adapt to the new situation under the background of socialist market economic reform. In 1997, the Chinese government officially gave the core special policy support and began to promote the construction of Alar in accordance with the Shahizi model. Relying on the XPCC's hardworking entrepreneurial spirit and policy support, Errol completed the infrastructure first and then attracted investment through convenient transportation. With the gradual completion and expansion of the industrial park, the commercial trade of Errol has gradually grown, and the urbanization of Errol has accelerated. At present, Aller has become a garden city with a built-up area of more than 60 square kilometers and a population of more than 200,000 people. It has become the central city of the Corps' largest reclamation area in southern Xinjiang. China's largest high-quality cotton base, 1 million mu forest fruit base, and Xinjiang's largest cement building materials enterprise are all located here. At present, the total annual fruit output of Aller City reaches more than 1.6 million tons. In 2017, Aller won the title of National Garden City. In 2018, Aller was selected as the National Greening Model City. In 2019, 2020, and 2021, Aller was selected as one of the top 100 counties and cities in western China for three times. Aller City has now become the city with the strongest comprehensive strength, the largest population, and the best basic conditions in the southern Xinjiang core. Yellow sand used to be the base of it, greenery is the new look of it. What was once a remote place has become an ecological new city. What used to be a desert has now become an oasis. The past yellow sand has turned into golden rice. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.